What's that? You want to put an end to a problem that hasn't actually been a problem in almost five years? Quick, take my money! A while back the so-called charity Invisible Children put out a video. A video about a man named Joseph Coney. An evil piece of shit who turned thousands of children into soldiers and sex slaves. The man who leads the Lord's Resistance Army, a group without mercy who have been terrorising Uganda and its neighbouring countries for over 25 years. This issue is largely unknown outside of Africa. Mainly because the general populace would rather hear about Kim Kardashian's latest pap smear than the suffering of innocent people. But that's another issue. So Invisible Children and its founder Jason Russell decided to make a video. A video that very quickly went viral. The people went crazy. After seeing this obviously very passionate plea to help the people of Uganda, everyone kicked up a shitstorm. They were immediately sucked in and started buying t-shirts and posters and all kinds of crap to help spread the word about this cock-sucking anus dweller that is Joseph Coney. And I'll admit, they sucked me in too. Seeing such horrible suffering really got to me, but when you start to examine the whole situation a little closer, the cracks start to show. Let's start with the charity itself, shall we? Invisible Children is a charity, so they claim. As it turns out, only about 32% of the money they rake in actually goes to the people that they're supposedly trying to help. The other 68% goes to staff salaries, travel expenses, and film production. Hmm, I wonder how much Jason Russell gets paid to spout his nonsense. He certainly had a very nice house in that video. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. He claimed in the video that he wanted to donate money to the Ugandan military to help catch Coney. This is the same army that seized control of the country using the same disgusting tactics as the man they're supposedly trying to catch. Hmm, doesn't that sound fishy? Now on to Coney himself. I have no doubt in my mind that Coney needs to be captured. He needs to be strung up by his ball sack and have all the people of Uganda gather to spit on him and poke him with sharp sticks. But the matter at hand is, is Coney still active? Well yes he is, but not in Uganda. Oh no, he hasn't been in Uganda for five fucking years. He's now leading the LRA in the DRC or fucking Sudan. And does he have thousands of child soldiers just like the video claims? Fuck no. Current estimates say there are as little as 300 soldiers under his employ. He had thousands of soldiers years ago, but now his army is whittled down to the bare bones. Yes, Cody needs to pay for his crimes. But spreading misinformation and using dirty emotional tactics will not make people want to help your cause. All this video has done is expose invisible children for the con merchants they are and bring back lots of painful memories for many Ugandans who had moved on with their lives. They screened the film in one town and the residents got so pissed off that they hurled rocks at the screen. And now Jason Russell has been arrested for running around naked and jacking off in the streets of San Diego. His representatives claim he was dehydrated and malnourished due to all the criticism that's been thrown his way. Either way, well done Jason Russell, way to destroy your credibility. This whole Coney 2012 campaign has been a cock up of epic proportions. The misinformation and outright lies from Invisible Children has turned the hunt for one of the world's worst war criminals into one big giant farce. Well done guys for making yourselves look like complete morons. Thanks for watching guys and if you're not quite caught up with the whole Coney 2012 thing I've left some links to articles and videos down below and feel free to google it for yourselves and look up your own information so you can make up your own damn mind about the whole thing. And a big congratulations to Azermage for giving me the idea for this video. Thank you Azermage for another great suggestion, you really get my mind working. And you son have won a copy of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. 
And thanks to everyone else for your suggestions, I really appreciate it. Some were really great and I may use them in the future, but I feel that Azure Mages was the best one for right now. So don't forget to like, favourite and share this video with all your friends and leave your suggestions for what you want to hear my cynical view on in the next video. Have a great one guys and remember, stay cynical my friends. Dang, oh, I believe in miracles, since you came along, you say something, ah!